Alright, let's take a look at this spare fight. As you can see, it's going pretty well so far. Already took a crack at uh, Jedi Knight Revan, I see. Um, though you wouldn't know it by looking at them. And uh, already took a crack at Darth Revan, I see. Though you wouldn't know from looking at them. And dead. First try. Dead, first try. Um, dead, first try. Dead, first try. Okay. So it's not going great for them. Let's uh, let's see what our rosters are like. Uh, let's see what his roster is like anyway. Okay. So. He has some of the characters that are needed to counter Darth Revan and Jedi Knight Revan, but he doesn't have the full teams. So, he would need some pretty ridiculous RNG. Yeah, doesn't even have Thrawn on the board. No CLS. Uh, he has Bestel, Sean Paul, and Scion, but they're not really in any position to do anything. And he doesn't even have Nihilus. He doesn't have Treya. Yeah. It's just not going to cut it. So he has some pretty decent Jedi lined up, he's just missing. Missing Jedi Knight Revan. Okay, what did I use for this? I used this here. So, no one particularly great. Um, but I actually got. Full banners, 60, and they didn't even need to take a turn. Let's see, and for this wall here, I used bounty hunters. I used. Oh, I used bounty hunters, and I got 57 banners, full health. Everyone survived. Uh, two people are full protection. For this wall I used Night Sisters. Um, I got 55 banners because they didn't have full protection, but they did have full health and they all survived. Um, for this wall I got uh, full banners 60 because um, I used Karth, so they had full health and full protection. Um, which I played it horribly too, because like I started to go for Ahsoka, and then once I saw she had a whole bunch of damage over time, I just went for Kanan to get him another way, but then with Minara healed, and I didn't go back to using Ahsoka. And Kanan kept. Yeah, Kanan used his cleanse to heal himself, and obviously he has that effect that every time he gets a, a debuff, he heals for a, a whole bunch of his health. So, uh, I played that horribly, and I still got full 60 banners. Um, so, it's mathematically impossible at this point him to get enough banners because um, I was I think 23 banners short of absolute perfection uh, like you know 23 banners short of maximum banners and he lost 40 banners by using two attempts so plus they have preloaded terminator it's the two most powerful teams that like I said he doesn't have a lot of characters like he's missing some of the characters that are needed to counter them. 
Um, so he would have needed a lot of RNG. So to go in with, like, like let's say he threw in something else to eat, like uh, their cooldowns or something. Like he he lost so many banners that even if he sends in literally one person and finishes with full health, full protection, like it still won't be enough. And as you can see, I was very confident that he wouldn't get through. Because um, I looked at his roster and I saw that he didn't have the counters that he would need. So it's just, just really interesting. I think the fact that I was 23 banners away from perfection and he didn't even scratch anyone. Like, just, that's really, that was really nice. Like, we're only, I only have 100,000 power more than him. And he has more G12 characters than I do, so. It looks like he has about the same number of Zetas as I do. And then, look at this, he has a whole bunch of G12 characters, a whole bunch of G13, G10. But then as soon as you get to G7, it's just a drop off straight to gear one. It's like, here's gear seven, here's gear one. <laughs> Literally the next line.